Hi guys, my buddy caught some more pigs. We're gonna head out. It's just now starting to get daylight. I think he's got nine. We'll have to go see him, make sure. And uh, we're gonna haul off pigs today. So that works out pretty good. Give us an awesome load. See you on a little bit, trap. All right, I had to swap out my battery. Look at this. Fix it up here, I had to swap out my battery real quick. Looks like it's gonna, okay, looks like it's gonna record. I've never been to this spot before. My buddy has a trap down here. <sighs> the one we loaded out of the other day. He moved it to this spot. It's like somebody's trying to do some hunting and the hogs have took over their feeder. I think there's nine. I'm not sure, we'll have to count and see. Hope we got down here where y'all can see. Ooh. And I hope I don't. Uh, doggone. Run over any stobs down here. Dang. Let's see what all we got to do here. Darn, I'm going to have to pull it up, I guess. <laughs> Darn it. Uh oh. I got it. It's still there for a moment. Let me make sure this uh, thing's char. Uh, okay, it looks like it's working. Oh, uh, we had a situation there. I pulled up here and there was one that was deceased underneath the edge there. And you can see he was holding it up. He was right over there. And he, I've raised this up a little bit to move it. But he, the, them other ones was trying to dig out the corner. I don't know if he lost any or not. We we'll gotta hook this up because I can't, the loading door is behind it, uh, which is cool, but uh, it's just kind of a pain having to move it sometimes like this. So uh, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm putting my hitch in, had to swap it over, had my other trailer hitch in there. Oh man, okay. Now, jack this up. I got them all loaded in there. I had to load them in there so I could get that pig out over there. I just didn't really want to show that on. I mean, it wasn't like bloody or anything like that. It's just, I'm just trying not to show certain things on my, my channel. Uh, right or wrong, I don't know, but I want to keep it as kid friendly and everything and, and uh, <clears throat> as I can. You know, I went to a, a, a hog hunt deal contest one time. And as soon as you walked in there, they had an old sow laid out there and some stuff. And I was like, man, even as a hunter, I, you know, we don't want to see that kind of stuff. But women and kids and stuff was walking by that. And I was, I was like, man, I don't understand that, you know. I mean, things happen when you're hunting and and different things but i don't know i don't know why people think the gorier the better or something like like we showed these pigs or something i don't, I don't know what people think you know I, yeah it's a stinking old pig but i try to respect life you know <clears throat> as much as i can in this crazy situation man this thing is going downhill hope it don't take off on me it's already slid a little bit this is as high as that jack's going i'm not sure how yeah, as high as that one do i'm sure how he really got set out here there's blind and a feeder pretty cool little spot right here Pretty cool spot. Pretty cool spot. Everybody, bow season started October 1st here in Oklahoma. And uh, I think youth, youth rifle is this weekend. I thought there was another wire. It's like, man, there's a wire everywhere out here. Well, 
I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get underneath that hitch or not. We'll see. That's the only hitch I got with me. That's a two inch ball. Let's see what that does. Ooh, rolling, rolling, rolling. All right, guys. This kind of stinks. Let's see if I can get my board and lift up on that. I think when I do, that thing's gonna take off on me. So I probably need, I don't know if I got anything I can put underneath there or not. Make a round to the side. <laughs> it's always something, isn't it? Always something. Oh man. Good times, good times. Give me some leverage here. See if, uh... oh yeah. Yeah, there it goes, it's sliding backwards. Uh, what in the world? How in the world to get that off of there? <laughs> uh, there's no way I can get back there. Uh, and I don't want to, uh, excuse me, I don't want to mess up his trap. Let me see if I can uh, tie a chain on this and I'll let those jacks all the way down and see if uh, we can just drag it forward. It's not going to take a lot. Uh, but I don't want to break his jacks off. And I don't really have... I'm sure there's a log or something around here somewhere. Uh, he told me to bring help. <laughs> like, really come on sorry my shoes untied now uh, life of a hog trapper it's always something guys we're gonna try to haul pigs off today I'd already took off work this morning because the guy we're taking them to he wanted them today so it works out better for me on the weekends but sometimes it just don't always work out I don't think this thing's gonna be super heavy but uh, I'm gonna put around my big main uh, hook right there, there I mean my big main uh, part of my pickup all right, let's see here. We'll get it. What's that old saying? Poor folks got poor ways. <laughs> ah. All right, let's see what happens when we start putting this down. All right, let's pick this up. Let's just take it off and let's lay it right here. For there we go. All right. Now let's let this down. I don't know how in the world he got that off his pickup. He must have a pretty low ball on there. All right, that one's loose. Say it is. Okay, now, sell you that one up here. I don't run over them, maybe. I, I don't have to ease it up very much. Let's ease her up here a little bit and see what we got. I guess let's go forward <laughs> instead of backwards. All right, here we go. Hopefully it don't break too much. I 
I mean, I understand why he, he parks it like he does sometimes, but uh, oh, there are things jumping up here. Let's see if that's enough. Oh. I think it'll be plenty to get in behind there. Yeah, you could say like right here. And uh, I think I would have plenty of room to get back there. All right, let me just walk around there so I don't get my legs stuck in there. <laughs> Wouldn't that be something? Get in here and break my darn leg or something. Uh, trying to mess with these old stinking piggies. All right, I don't think it matters, but this one was on this side. If the gap will go down that far. We may have a total mess. <laughs> yeah, to work around stuff, guys. My wife, she's always laughing at me because she's like, if I was with somebody else, I mean, we'll be way off somewhere and have blowouts or whatever the situation is. She'd be like, if I was somebody else, we'd still be waiting on somebody. I'm like, you know, when you grow up poor, you have got to find a way because nobody's coming to get you. Especially back when I was a kid, there was no such thing as cell phones. We barely had a home phone. You know what I'm saying? I just gotta get this up enough just to get the weight off my chain there. And then I can get around behind here, I think. All right, that worked out good. Didn't mess up his hitch or anything. I don't never wanna mess up nobody's property. I can darn sure help it, you know. Yeah, a little bit more maybe. Make a little grease on this little jack. All right. That's what I told her. So there's nobody coming to to get you, you know. So, that's just the way it goes sometimes. Just the way it goes. You gotta figure it out yourself. Tell you what, for now, let me throw that right there. Just to get off my truck so I don't lose it off down there in the trees. Uh, I think I can get in there pretty good right there. Whew. Man, I gotta start working out. I drug that pig off over there. Try to drag it away from here so it wouldn't affect their hunting, hopefully. And uh, drug him way off over there. You know, I think the state, I'm not sure, don't quote me on this, but I was told when they kill hogs on your property, either with the helicopters or even trapping or anything, they have to leave them on your property. Of course, every time they trap or or fly the helicopter, they say they kill, you know, five, six hundred hogs at a time. I mean, yeah, I mean, <laughs> guys, I, I'm on a the haystack up there. I've got what 172, and I've got one hamp, and those little ones keep coming around. Where'd I write that? Yeah, 172. I don't know if y'all can see, I hope y'all can see that right there. 172. All that one haystack and that is a bunch of pigs. Used to, a 30 to 40 group was big. And then it started getting a little bigger and a little bigger. And then, then it, you know, 100, that was, that's pretty good groups. But it's, it's not that uncommon anymore. But, uh, five, six hundred, yeah. down the river and stuff I would believe it but I don't know and I'm not saying they're lying I'm just saying that seems like a lot I know I went to one spot where they supposedly killed that many in the next two weeks I caught 75 big hogs they must have just got all the little ones <laughs> but who knows who knows that's way out of my pay grade the way that's up like that i may be able to just back up 
without using my ramp. We'll just have to see. But I've got to take this off to, uh, to fix this. We got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, we thought we had nine. He did have nine, but that one was, was dead. So, you know, it's just that's you don't want that to happen, but it happens. That's just part of part of it, you know. These guys' nose is bloody from trying to crawl underneath that edge. And if there was any little ones, they dang sure got out. Okay. This is the trigger system for this trap. He made this totally different than his other one. Pretty cool. All right, let me get back up here. See if we can uh, figure this out. Uh, I may have to let my ramp down a little bit. I may, it may just match right up right there. It'd be awesome if it does. I think I'm pretty close. I gotta get this wire off his gate anyway. Oh yeah, that's gonna be almost perfect right there. Perfect! I think it'll lay right there. Yeah, that's probably probably good right there. Okay. Okay guys. Y'all ready to get out of there? I gotta go to the other side to do that gate. So I throw my rope across there. I think I throw it right over there. There we go. Got my hot shot. Which hopefully won't even need it. Hopefully they will just load right up. <sighs> Shh. Yep. There's H. Come on. Come on. It's probably the same hard head. Come on. There we go. There we go. Got that one. <laughs> <sighs> well, eight, that's not too bad. They're all pretty nice. Not mega monsters, but uh, pretty nice. I'm gonna say, One of them ones are all close to 100 pounds. And that one's over 100 pounds. I'm gonna say it's gonna be really close to 800 pounds, I think. So, not too bad, not too bad. Probably like seven, seven something. I think some of these are going to be 80s. Now that one's probably 100. That one's probably like a 120s. Maybe. I don't know. Alright, let's pull up and uh, get all this figured out. And then uh, I'll get back with you. Alright guys. I got it back to that spot. I just kind of picked up on it and scooted it downhill wouldn't really put no stress on the jack or anything so i thought well i'll just give it a shot <laughs> i'm needing to work out anyway ah, yeah that little feeder that won't last long with the hogs guys and hogs can rear up on that they can just knock them little legs over Little legs are just little bitty pipe legs. I'm not knocking this guy's feeder. I'm just saying. If you're going to buy a feeder around hogs, 
it wouldn't hurt to beef them up or whatever i've seen them break you know them little arms out of them plastic deals all the time i'm around people's feeders all the time doing this and i can just tell you it's not good them things can destroy a feeder so fast it is crazy all right well thank you lord that we got some pigs thank you that's cool today because it's taking me a little while oh this is a beautiful little spot right here i don't know if they're just hunting deer or elk or what but uh i'd love to have a place to hunt elk man that would be so awesome that would be awesome i've ate some elk before uh my buddy cooked and it is just almost better than beef man i mean he of course he could take a rock and make it his name was jeff and uh bless his heart he passed away during covid i guess from covid really like the day before dove season i believe he loved doe hunting and have a big benefit for him uh it's called jeff hart benefit or i can't remember exactly what they call that benefit but uh his name's jeff hart and a super good guy just retired not too long before all that that's another reason i think about retiring you know all right guys let's uh let's jack this thing the rest of the way up and go ahead and reset it for him I'm not sure how high he wants it. So I'm just going to set it. I think he's a little lube reeling or something. Whew. But this is not particularly my trap, so I'm not really, can't really say that I should lube it or whatever. All right, I've never set this trap. He's told me before. What in the world? Oh, you know what I gotta do? I gotta let that down. Okay, I think I see how to do it. We'll just hook up these safeties so I don't have to redo all this quite as far. <sighs> Maybe. <laughs> uh, well, I take that back. I may have to to get the right distance on that. I kind of see what he's done. I think. So he's got this cable. He's got this cable and that goes back to this latch well when that drops it's got to have enough distance to make it to the ground or, or see what i'm saying because this 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 one's going to be latched in i think all right so we're gonna have to let this all the way down i think yeah let this all the way down all right that's gonna set down good okay now i think we pull this back to the latch i'm learning i'm learning i'm a slow learner sometimes Oop. all right yep there we go there we go okay now pull this his idea on this partly was to uh, make it quicker dropping and not not necessarily have to unspool the cable but to just let the cable go and to make it faster I think maybe it is I don't know All right, let's see 
a little bit more. That may be it. All right. Wow. Yeah, there was no way I was going to get that. Son. Uh, let's see if the cable's hung or if that's just all of it. Yeah, there's some more. Okay. Oh man, thanks, cough. <laughs> All right. Okay. It's pretty cool. So many people come up with so many different ideas. You know what? That's what makes America great too. You know, is everybody has ideas. All right. News ready. He activates his uh, camera. That popper pops, lets that go, and trips the trap. He designed all this right here by himself. Like I said, guy, he's he's always thinking of something pretty cool. We'll just get it reset for him. He had somewhere to be. He didn't know I'm resetting it, but hopefully he don't care. When they come up real crooked, you can kind of pull on that cable and it'll kind of level itself back out. Pretty cool. See how that kind of levels back out? And you can kind of put your foot in there on it a little too. So you gotta be careful, don't get underneath nothing. It's gonna fall and break your foot. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I'm not sure how high he wants this. I'm gonna say that's plenty high. And that's all you do and then when that releases make sure it's on all the pulleys so it falls good and then when they walk up there and see that they just walk underneath it they think they can see all the way through uh, tell you what guys let me just turn around we'll put some corn in there let me just spin around here a little bit so I ain't got to walk half a mile to get warm or I'm getting warm throw him some corn in here Oop. need to get right in the middle see if I can it better not shake us too much I don't know how he has his set up particularly his trigger I think basically just like mine but and hopefully they wanted to reset it here if not his deer will have some good corn huh Yeah, it makes it a little harder trapping around a feeder like this because the pigs will come to that feeder. And really guys, whenever you do that, you need to just turn that feeder off. And uh, get a little back there, there we go. You need to turn that feeder off so the hogs will have to come in a trap. There's nothing wrong with having the feeder there, 
but I have plenty of corn here where I'll go ahead and just leave the, the feeder alone. That's what I like to do anyway. Again, that might be right or wrong or whatever. That's probably good. I better put this up out of the way so it doesn't hang. Those are out of the way. We should be good to go. Doors are all latched. Thumbs up, baby. Probably sell, sell camera there. All right, let's get out of here. Whew. Getting hot. Eight more. Uh, I ate more. All right, guys, we're gonna head head out and load out. Hopefully, it's nine o'clock. I left the house about seven. It's been about two hours messing with this deal. <laughs> Whew. Neat little setup down in here. All right, let's see you at the probably at the pen and then hopefully at the ranch these all go to hunting ranches they are not turned out into the wild every time i post a video about turn them loose somebody says something about how not every time but most times somebody will say something about how stupid i am for turn them loose and <laughs> i'm not turning them loose they're going into a giant pen it's state inspected regulated you got a permits, all that kind of stuff. I have to have permits to even move them off this property to my property and to that property. And I have to keep the right numbers. So it's not, we're not turning these back into the wild. We are not turning these back into the wild. It is illegal to turn them loose into the wild. A lot of these will be, they'll be gone before I even leave there that today probably because there's hunters there hunting them. And, uh, they, they trust me they do not last very long i love turn them loose because it on those big ranches like that because it it, it makes me feel like they hey, do have a little freedom <sighs> and, and somewhat of a chance uh, i'm not knocking anybody for shooting them in a trap or anything like that but i just you know and, and they're still in a giant trap i guess but there's a lot of people come to hunt hogs uh here in oklahoma there's i'm not sure how many ranches there are i know we've dealt off and on with like seven different ones and uh just right now this 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 particular man he's been buying everything we can catch and and uh you know one guy will pay more one guy will pay less but then if they pay more they don't they don't want little bitty ones and if you know and this guy's been kind enough to take everything for a straight across fee so it's it all averages out about the same really uh, uh you know if you go because i got a guy that likes just little ones and then the guy that likes just big ones so this guy will take everything i don't have to separate them uh it's just worked out really good and he's helped us out all summer and uh so i want to stay as loyal to him as i can uh i mean I, I i i love all the other guys too i mean i'm not knocking any of them they they all uh just at different times they do different volumes of hunts and and things like that and uh you know and there's a lot more trappers too around that, that supply them but uh anyway i'm just trying to say i just want to stay faithful to those that stay faithful to me and uh try to help anybody else out that i can if i got the opportunity but like i say he takes pretty much everything i get so you know i can't really help him out too much right now but you're recording here okay it's recording i couldn't see for the sun ah okay let's see if i got this just so good i think so there's my puppy dogs. Look at that. Looks just like uh, Arms Family Homes for Dad's oh, yeah. dog. They got a female. Ours is a male. And then this is our pit right here. And then, uh, anyway, let's see if I can get some pigs loaded up. Stand there, boys. They're going to run. They're going to ride with us today. They usually do. Uh, 
on your little guys. All right. Let's see what we got going on here. Some of my trip strings. See if it's long enough to do this. Get these guys over here on this one side. And then get them loaded. Maybe everybody will cooperate and everything goes smooth. Hopefully. I mean, I don't need this one. We'll see. See how long it is. Yeah, I might. No, no. Easy. There's some nice hogs in there. Nice little piggies. Yep. Some good pigs in there. I'll probably forget this one. <laughs> Let me lay it over here for just a second. Don't forget it because that's the one I use to load them out in the field. Ah, they all got to run to the corner, don't they? they all got to run to the corners. Stuff like that. Make something here where I can hook it somewhere. All right. Hmm. Let's see. I'm gonna just wrap it right around this piece right here. Probably not. Might. Oh yeah, I think it might hold it. It's tangled up there. Okay. Yeah, that's holding it. All right. Let's see if I can get these guys. They got a pile up in the corners. And they're trying to get them to mother pigs, but they're going to that corner. I need a gate back there. I may one of these days redo these. Pins. Come on, guys. Shh, 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 shh. Looks like everybody's alive and well. That's a good sign. Look at all the dust. <laughs> Come on. Come on, guys. Get around there. Come on. Most of the time, if they've been in here a few days, they know how to get over there. Shh. Come on. Most of the time. Shh. Come on. Shh. Get over. Shh. Hey, shh, get over. Shh, get over. Shh. Shh, come on. Looks like they're going, guys. Let's see. Got them all in one whack. Okay. Oh, there's one more. Yep, come on, boy. Always gotta be one. <laughs> Always gotta be one. Gosh darn. Why can't it just go? They just all go. There's always got to be that one. He's got to cause some kind of trouble. Hip! Get on there, boy. Hip! 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 Shh! Shh! Look at him. Hip! Come on. Go through the gate. There you go. There you go. Stay in there. Stay in there. Stay in there. All right, we got them there. Now, let's swap strings. See if they'll all just go. We'll have them loaded up in no time. But sometimes, they don't play that way. Whoops, let me grab this right here. Well, I gotta lift this one down. And, uh, so they don't come back in there. They don't come back in under there. And I gotta put this rod in there so they can't slide it up. Get up here a little higher. Okay, yeah, well, maybe they can't get their nose under it and slide it up. Okay, and hook up this gate. Got that one open. It's a it's a pretty fairly smooth operation for the most part. Every now and again, it's kind of a pain, but uh, for the most part, it works out pretty good. If they'll just all go, you know what I'm saying? If they'll just ease on in there. They want to bunch up and crawl all over each other and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> Crazy things. 
crazy things. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Let's get down there. Oh. Okay, guys. See if we can make this work. Oh, yeah, that's gonna be perfect right there. And all right. Now, if they would just cooperate, come on. Come on. I don't like it when they all bunch up against the walls like that. Come on. Come on. Try to take them easy as I can. Come on. If one will go, usually the rest will go. There you go. Hip. 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 Y'all watch real one don't come over his fence get in here with me. Hip. 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 Load up. Hip. Hip. Load up. Load up. Of course, you always got something's going to come the other way. Hip. Come on. Come on. Hip. 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 Hey. Hey. Up, 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 these guys, Shh. up, come on, up, 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 I think so. Ah, let me go here. That fell down. <laughs> yep. I gotta fix this sliding gate on my trailer here. It does not work very good. See if I can get this pop or something. Put it in there. It hangs. It's like a good and bad thing. Come on now. There we go. We should have them now. We should have them now. Okay. Get all this situated so when I pull up, I don't pull my door up over there. All right, let me grab my other rope because I'll need it in my other pickup. Whoo! I think we got 60 something in there. I'm not sure. Well, I was counting them all ago. I'll tell you here later what we come up with. Look at them, they gotta all pile up on each other. Crazy things. Get all pile up on each other. Hey, shh. Get off each other. Hey, get off there. Let me put this in here. Okay, shh. Get off each other. Shh. Shh. You get on top of each other and squash each other, you know. Don't be biting me. Let's see if I can grab this. Get this lash before I ever even pull up. This ain't much of a latch, I guess, but but it beats nothing. I don't think they'll ever slide that door open. They could. All right, now they're filtering off. Now they're kind of filtering off. Good load. 
All right, guys, we're gonna go away and we'll see you over at the hunting ranch. Put your good load. Okay, we're unloading another load. We got 70 hogs. <laughs> We just dumped out this load of pigs. I don't know if y'all can see them. Running the fence over there. They ran right to the gate where we come in. Luckily the gate's shut. So if I can get up here and see them. They'll run the fence for a little bit and then they'll calm down. Oh, that's a drop off. This is a beautiful place though, big old hot fence. I can't get out. There's a deer on the next place up there. We have to watch this gate. There they go. Hey boys. My dogs are going crazy. Yeah, that's about half the load right there. The other half went the other way. This beautiful place. Beautiful place. Like a golf course in here. What's wrong, boys? What's wrong, boys? Y'all excited? He looks just like uh, Kelsey off of Arms Family Homestead. In the moral pit. All right, boys. If you see this guy, I'm trying to back up here and get a good picture of him. I think it's an oryx. Whatever that thing is. Beautiful. They have all kinds of stuff on these ranches. It's a beautiful animal right there.